Wait, what's happening? What is happening? What? It's time to do 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 Hello! You have no idea how long it took to set up all this so it doesn't break my computer. <laughs> Welcome to Inscription, a game that I have been wanting to play for a long time. Like, ever since I saw, like, footage of this game, it's piqued my interest, and I made sure to, like, never see any footage of it, any, any gameplay of it, until I played it myself. Why not record some footage as well, like, for a video? I'm excited to play this game, and hopefully that you ha have some enjoyment in this game as well. So let's get started. Um, can't select new game for some reason. Continue. That's the only option we got. That's the only option we got, so let's go. Dark room. Very spooky. Very... Uh, hello. Another challenger. It's been ages. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Okay. Play the squirrel card. Squirrel card. Um, okay. Now play your stoat. Stoat costs one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Oh! An honorable death. Play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. That bell is shaking furiously. Alright. Your stoat stands unopposed because it's asleep. The number on the bottom left is its attack power, one. You still dealt me one damage. I've added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this, my turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is too less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. Alright, pretty simple so far. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel card. Um, I only have one card um, in my deck, so I'm gonna take a squirrel card. How dull. Hey! Um... Let's... Place the squirrel. And then- Oh! And then, we can, like you said, Wolf demands two blood sacrifices. Move <laughs> it! What did I do? Um, okay, you're not. The beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Oh, okay. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. I guess we put the wolf there. Can't you really do anything else, so I guess we'll end turn. Dead. Dead. Because you're learning, I will pass. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck, or the certainty of a squirrel card. Okay, what other card do I have in my deck? A river s- a what? You were lacking sacrifices for that creature. Um... I don't even know what that is. How do I how do I check it? I guess I'll check it later. Um guess I'll play again. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. Pass. Okay. Um guess I will just scroll here. What's the river snapper? Oh, that's a lot of health. Holy crap. Um Guess I'll place that. And go. Boom! I win. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. That's why. It's, that's when I assume. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. Oh. You were lost deep in the woods. A single path reveals itself. Whoa. All right. I guess we go forward. Two denizens of the forest approach you. Brain! Tentatively. I don't know words. Um, what is this? The caustic adder. Damage from the poison's bite is always lethal. I see. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill it. Ooh! Only one may grace your paltry deck. So, cat that can always be sacrificed or a very dangerous adder. I feel like a smart move. Would be to go for the cat? Behold, the rule book. There's... Oh, cool, yeah. Alright, I'll take the cat. 
Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seem willing to follow you. Right, let's go up here. What's this bag? You came across an abandoned sack. This is like D and D. I like this. You found a squirrel in the bottle. Break it in case of emergencies. Cool. And have a second. Thank you. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip scales with it. Pliers. Three as much as you can is as much as you can carry. Okay. Um. Looks like we got a battle up ahead. Yeah, let's do this. Oh shoot. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. What the hell? It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me. Take your turn. I couldn't read a play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Cool. Um, first of all, how about we... Oh, I have the cat. Cool. You're lacking sacrifices for that cat. But you do have a squirrel. Right, let's, let's place a squirrel. Boom. Place the cat. And now... Do that. And boom! Here we go. Can I... Wait, let me try the reverse squirrel now. Because maybe... If I place that here... And then I can do like... Boom. Boom. Bop. Oh my god! I love this game already. Jesus Christ. One damage. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. What's this? Got the wolf. Um, sorry, so Wow, sir. I want more damage. So That's a lot of damage. An airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Oh, shoot. Ha! Ah, my bat flew right over your wolf. Kiki. I can't really do anything about the boulder, so... I just can sacrifice this. Place that there. Oh, nice. There goes the boulder. I don't have any cards left, so I guess we'll just... Go. Nice. Nice. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the new, now blooded terrain. Oh, okay. We got some new, we got some more cards up ahead. Let's see what this is. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. Versus the meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. No, what? Do flying enemies have a hard time being attacked, or do they have a chance of dodging get attacked since they're in the air? I like the sound of the bird. What the heck is this? All right. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that would be lost forever. Oh, okay. I just got the bird. Lots of you, the cat. What's this? You looked upon your. What are these words? And selected a healthy host. Um, I'm gonna go with the wolf. Oh, a ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the cat now lives in the wolf. Wait, oh, did I just give it the power to not die when sacrificed? That's cool. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. I like this, I like this, I like this. What? Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine's card with the airborne sigil. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough! Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Let's place a squirrel card. Right here. Sparrow there. Okay. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight! Oh my god! Seriously? Uh, I'm gonna just squirrel. Boom. Wolf. Bop, bop. Place that there. 
And oh, then I can, I can play the stoat, do that, and the wolf doesn't die. All right, let's get another squirrel card. Place that. Sorry. The snapper, he's got plenty of health. Boom. Four damage. My last card. Wolf. Boom that, and boom, I think I won, right? Yay! Impressive. You might survive this ordeal. Heck yeah, I will. Alright, what's next? Three cards. The Proud Wolf, a vicious contender. The Flighty Elk. At the end of this owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed with that sigil. Oh, so it moves. Nice. The Watchful Bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. The Elk's got some good health. I'll take the Elk. It's this campfire? Oh my god. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around the campfire. They looked upon the creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will increase its power. You notice that one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouths. Oh, so this basically like increased the damage of the the uh card. Stoat doesn't seem sure about this. I'm about river snapper because turtles are just ferocious in general, especially snapping turtles. I've watched the amazing world of gumball. You remember the turtle from that? It's scary. Let's do the river snapper. Yeah. The fire warmed the poor river snapper, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed its teeth. Not a word you pulled the river snapper away from the fire and left. Wait, so is there a chance I might lose my card from that? I hope not. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Oh my. Sparrow, go. One damage. Oh my god, is that a grizzly bear? Why is there a grizzly bear? Okay. Jesus Christ, how do I deal with that? Alright. This spot? You sure? Yes. Actually, I don't know. Uh... There's another grizzly bear. Oh my freaking god. Um... I don't actually know what to do. Okay, what is this? What is this? Oh! Jesus Christ! A very well earned points of damage. <laughs> so that's what they are. Okay. Okay, I think I might lose this. I think I might lose this. Yeah. You lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Okay. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Whoa. Nice place you got here. Grab this. Bring it here. Now sit back down. Let me explain something to you. That was only one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another... I will sacrifice you. Sacrifice these nuts. <laughs> no, where were we? Let's get another card, why not? It's the only option I got. Cat! The elk and the wolf. I want a cat again. A guest from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Choose one. I'm gonna take the squirrel again, because I've. A rock might get you out of a hard place. It's a lot of help. I'll take it. And another rock, why not? What in the world is this? Is this a boss fight? What the? The trees seem to be closing in around you as a chill mist descends. In the distance, you can hear the clinking of metal on stone. Hobbled figure stood in your path. Twas the prospector! I'll just place that there. 
Take my squirrel, place a sparrow. The pack mule. Squirrel there. This takes a lot of concentration, I realize. This takes a lot of concentration. Okay, okay. Shoot. I totally forgot. Dang it. Um, where's your squirrel? Two squirrels. Boom, boom. Blocks away the coyote. Um, go. Okay, that was a bit close for comfort. Um, cover card. The cat! Oh, shoot. Um, I don't have any of our emergency squirrels. I guess I'll just, um, take a turn. Oh, shoot. Oh my god, was that the play? Dang, damn it, my mule! Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Um, I'll take a squirrel. Place a skunk. The skunk's got plenty of damage. The creature opposing a card bearing sigil loses one power. Oh, shoot, that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's go. That was a lot of damage. Yeah, um, I think I'm good. That's why I've gone. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them cards. Hey. Hey. I've struck gold. I can't do anything. Okay, well now there is. He's doing the prospector again. He's boss. The mule's key. Yeah, I guess I'll place the two squirrels here. The river snapper. Place it there. I don't like that bulldog. Place a stone. Why not? Okay. Oh, the undying wolf! Okay, let's see. Concentration mode activate. Also, sorry if my if I seem a little laggy. I've tried as much as I could to fix it up. I'm no IT. I don't know how a computer works. Let's see. I guess we can. I guess it can live a hit. Do that. I sacrifice a squirrel. 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 Wolf. Because now... I can do that. And now... I guess I don't have to worry about getting rid of the wolf. Boom! I'm a genius! Squirrel. Ghost oat. Okay. Boom! Hey! All right. Easy. Allow me to light your candle once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Ooh! I'll see what you got. The poor abandoned child does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? Okay. A largely unimpressive specimen. What is this? A card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Ooh. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. The Ura, the Ura Yuli. What in the heck? I think I might take the strange la larva. It only turn it changes after one turn, right? Why not? The sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears. You carry onwards. The rank smell of rot and mold permeates the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or sliver. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. All right, let's go. Or we got a card. Fervid Mantis. Its prying claws strike both 
the left and the right. Oh, it's a multi-hit thing. Cool. Hey, another stepping turtle. A nascent fawn. It quickly grows into an elk. I like the idea of the mantis hitting multiple things at once. We gotta get that bag. Get the bag. It's bleeding yields free blood. If you can ignore the bleating. I think I might just take a squirrel. Another squirrel. You can never have too you can never have too many squirrels, you know? What is the bullfrog? Okay, so we can Oh we already got the sacrificial wolf! Nice. Alright. Boom, bop, boom. Why not? Never squirrel. Get the sacrificial wolf out here already. Get him out of here already. Get him Get everyone out here already! Why not? <laughs> I am so incredibly good at this game. You have no idea. I love this game. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking for looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something. Uh, I. T Please, God, don't ask me why I don't like that word. Care to look at me pelts? The trapper deals in teeth, the type collected from battle. There are gains by dealing damage greater than what is needed to win a match. Oh, that's why he pulled out the bowl. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you for your business. What is this accent I'm giving him? The man assured you the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. Oh, great. Oh, great. But he mentioned that the trainer further down the path would reward you for them. Let's, let's upgrade another card. Alright, let's see. The Mantis. Two damage on two. That, does that equal to four damage? Yes, because that's how math works, you stupid lizard brain. Am I mathing that correctly? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, nice. Battle time. Let's go. Let's see what he's got. A, a beef! Squirrel. Boom. Cat. Boom. Wolf pelt. No. I know. I'm gonna say squirrel. Elk. Go. Boom. And then you'll move to the right. Yes, you will. And the bees attack. I don't lose the wolf pelt if it gets dead, right? I'll place that to, like, mitigate the damage. Why not? Bee's dead. Oh, it goes in the other direction. Cool. And what does he got? Oh, that's a mantis. Uh-oh. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Squirrel! That's a lot of damage, though. Oh my god! Okay. Squirrel. Tactical defense, squirrel, go! Alright, so, if I'm correctly, I'm going to be able to attack that and that. Actually, no, the Mantis will die. Nice. Okay. Full card. The stout! Ah. Total misplay? You're a total misplay. Um, what the heck does the bee do? I don't know. I don't care. Alright, alright, we're getting somewhere now. Wolf is dead. The card. Yes! Sorry, so... Again? Yes, again! Is that there? Boom! I like the elk strat. The elk strat is helping a lot. How is this? The mantis! Alright. Yes! Yes! So much damage! You encounter a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor. Oh, it was the traitor. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I exchange those pelts of yours? Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. Holy! I can trade you any of these cards. Oh my god, this is awesome. The grizzly bear- Oh, That's a lot of damage! But I gotta be smart about this. What's the beaver do? When the card bearing the sigil is played, a dam is created on each empty adjacent space. A dam is defined as zero power and two health. Oh, so it's just like a defensive thing. What's the mole? When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move that space, receiving the strike instead. Oh, so it's like, okay. Do it, grizzly bear! 
Oh, wolf pelts too. Exquisite. Holy crap. I'll take the raven. These pelts are most excellent, my thanks. You're welcome. She seems nice. I say that now, I feel like she's going to kill me later. Let's get this bag. Gotta deal with a sigil fight again, though. Squirrel! Squirrel! Just get all the squirrels! Tactical squirrels! Oh! That's that's the the, the movement sigil, right? <laughs> the grizzly! Great. Oh, yeah, I got a squirrel. The wolf. Place you there. Barrow. Boom. Doesn't die. What in the heck? Do that. Boop, boop. That's great. I want big damage now. I want big damage now. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. What is this? You must take a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that, that you wish to pay. Um, let's go to blood. A random card of the cost of two. What were you expecting? I'll take it. We get to upgrade another card. Yay! To remember, this is the, this is the card we're gonna sacrifice to remove the sigil, and this is the card we're going to place the sigil on. Mantis. I like the multi-hit mantis. I'll go. No, I want the river snapper. Make the river snapper even more powerful. I basically recreated Evil Turtle from the Amazing World of Gumball. Alright. Hey! My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. You're not. I will let you keep the smoke. Oh, thank you. A foul smell invades your nostrils, causing your throat to seize. A lucky man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from the pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. Oh, I am the angler. Go fish. Alright, let's see. What does he have? The King Fisher? Well, it's flies and can be submerged in water. What's a smoke? <laughs> I can sacrifice the smoke. Cool. Ah, okay. Squirrel, I need you. Sorry. I need a lot of sacrifices. Go. Heck yeah, already got some big damage. Which fish hard to lose? Yo, hey! Is he gonna try to snatch up my thing? Um. Hold up. Squirrel. Fish or fish? Easy choice. Oh, okay. What I get is that the card I place down determines on what card he catches. Okay. Alright, so don't pull the grizzly. Gotcha. Continue. Alright, easy. Easy. Uh, too fast too soon! What the heck? What? Wait, what's happening? What's happening? What? Okay, um... Okay, no, no. I'm just gonna try to do this. Uh... Boulder. What in the heck is going on? Emergency squirrel, go! I can't do anything! I can't- I don't know- I, I don't think I can win this! No. Oh my god. What the heck? What was that? Huh. Go fish. Hey! Hey, you get your hands off!
I don't think that was that supposed to happen. Oh, hello. You weren't dead yet. It isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask for a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. Oh, it's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We'll work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Aww, how nice. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. Mediocre! Mediocre! Sir, excuse me, I had a good plan. I had the sacrificial wolf. Do you not see this card? I think my deck was pretty good, thank you very much. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Um... A cost of one blood from the sparrow. Okay. And then for this time, I'll use its power and health. The numbers. The, the numbers. numbers! Yeah, let's put a bunch of health on there. Now, choose a card from which to extract the sigils. Okay. I never just I never did ask of your name. Veros. This will now be one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? Fire! You don't need a smile. Oh, okay. It's like my high school photo all over again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand. Oh, it's, oh no, it's the bone zone time. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Squirrel card. Wake the frick up, Stoat. We got a job to do. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Okay. Oh, shoot. The Rattler. Sorry, but sorry, Stoat. Miles of asleep again? Yes, again. Listen, man. It's sacrifices must be made. I can place the opossum here. I have bones. Alright, go. The rattler. Squirrel. Bullfrog. Boop. Bunch of damage. Oh. I think I win anyway. Yeah, there we go. Nice. No, we have to start over again. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Okay. It's besides the safe. Is there anything else? What is this? Squirrel and elk fawn. What in the world is this? I'm just exploring at this point. Oh, there's a figurine. Okay. Let us continue. Alright. Oh god, let's go! The meager coyote. But what do you expect from only four bones? The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, once past its monstrous fangs, and the unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. I like the sound of that. Cockroaches in general, like, they do not die. You know, you're free to get up again. They keep your blood flowing. I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me to plan your next encounter. Oh, thank you. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Okay. I'm gonna touch everything in this house. Where's Robo? What's that? 273. Oh, wasn't it a safe way? Uh. 273. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would even ever escape that iron crypt. Is, is the stoat around? The stunned wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. No, I'm good. I'll take this key, thank you very much. I saw a thing over here. Whoa, okay. What is this?
Wait, what? Oh, I think I got it. Got it. Hello. It's a lizard! It's like me! I forgot I had put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck, and I will deal you one every so often. Cool! Alright, let's do this one. Um... Hey, there we go. Ooh, formidable creatures, these ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. Oh, there's more. Nice. Ooh. Curious. All right, puzzle number four. There we go, Jesus Christ! Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you'll understand its power. That took way too long. All right. All right, let's continue with this game. I am having a lot of fun with this game, honestly. It is a lot of fun. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. Ooh, I like the sound of that. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with this hand. Some bones for a rainy day. A black goat. Black bone. Oh, my squirrels. <laughs> you again? Indeed, a friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be- I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we're in deep in this time. Let's go. Fine. We got the wolf cub. It's the wolf. What is that? Alpha? What in the world? Creatures adjacent to that card, this is, will gain one power. Okay, we gotta get rid of that then. Bones, screw it. Well, that's better than the bones. Oh yeah, the, the stink bug has stink, so it decreases the power. Nice. Okay. Squirrel. Place that there, get rid of the alpha. Caged wolf. I don't think I can. Yeah, that does nothing. Let's continue. Nice. Some cards. Hey, it's me! The invulnerable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. I want me. I like being fast. Oh, and then we can increase my power. Increase my power. Oh. Okay, health is fine. Yeah, that means I will survive longer. Nice. Squirrel. What's this? When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. I like the sign of that. Okay. Yo! It's hard to call it, call it cowardly. Defenses! Nice! Skank. I see a possum here because of the bones. Oh god. Cage wolf, god dang it. I do believe I'm quite boned. So you know what? I'll pass my next turn. Oh. Keep me alive. Don't count on that. Dead, dead. It's me! Heck yeah. Let's see what I got. Wolf it is no less convening its incubation. That turn into a raven, cool. And the wolf cub. Go for the wolf. And then let's see what we can do here. The choice is yours. 
When a card is bearing the sigil's played, an ant is created in your hand. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, a copy is created in your hand. Ooh, wait. So, what is this? Ants. The value represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants owner has inside the table. <gasps> wait, what if I make an undying ant queen? Because then I'll have like infinite ants because if the ant queen dies it'll just go back to my hand oh my god i just have to make sure to pull the ant queen Well, ink boom that's a wolf squirrel go there bullfrog possum do that And the wolf will attack the thing. Then, little card. Working ant. I pass. Oof. Okay. Yeah. The wolf. Here you. Kill that. There it is. I pass. I pass again because I win. Nice. Beehive. The goat. The truest offering. Sacrificing against free blood. Ooh. And the elk. I like the elk. The elk is pretty beefy. Get some more in the bag. Squirrel! That's some bones. Why not? Back to Boss City. Oh, great. Alright. Yeah, 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 the... 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 the, the, the freaking guy. The, the PROSPECTOR! <laughs> Already we get the Ant Queen. Oh my god. So many bones! The squirrel. Cool. That place me there. Boom, boom, boom. Easy. Oh shoot! But now he's gonna. Uh... Oh! Oh! I got the queen back. Nice. Can't do anything. Get them. Both of. I just realized I'm screwed. Oh, I'm bones, literally. Yep. Yeah, this game is difficult, but fun. But very fun. It's a very fun game. I'm afraid you're not dead yet. You have a memento to create. Will we begin to ink it? Alright, let's see. The cost. Uh, two blood. And the skin sigil. And Veros 2. And my picture, right? I'm gonna smile this time, cause screw you. That's blinding. Another challenger. I need the tale of the ones who came before you. It fell to a mad prospector. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. Nothing comes between that man and his gold. Seems only the lowly stink bug has made its way in. Why do you look like that? Okay. Well, this has been a this is a really fun game. I like the idea of like going down an endless path. I don't think it is endless. I think it's like a story mode. But I just like the idea of it. It's a very fun game. I am really enjoying this. Like the cards and the strategies that you were able to create is like awesome. But unfortunately, I think I'm going to stop here for tonight. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to do like and subscribe and I will uh, see you later. Bye.